Faith for sharing the President's vision for this country and for this state. Thank you for contributing to the President's re-election, and thank you for being here today.
I can't tell you how scary it is to see justices who don't belong there making decisions about eradicating even the incremental change we have in front of us. We can't let that happen. And they are working hard to fight the agenda that many of us in this room care so deeply about. Since I came to Congress, they have passed, the Republicans in the House have passed eight bills to take away a woman's right to choose. Just last week, they passed a bill that gutted the health care reform. Even though it didn't go far enough, they're still intent on gutting what we've got. This week, they passed a bill to end Medicare as we know it and give another $150,000 tax break for millionaires. Who do those people stand up for? The thing is, President Obama has our back. He's right there to stop these things. They never land on his desk because they don't get to the United States Senate where we still have a majority, but if they did, he would veto them. We need to make sure we have a president in the White House who will fight for those things.
speaker on stage. I think we all know that Senator George Mitchell really needs no Possibilities. 